we've now keyed our media and the next step is we want to place it into our scene and we can see at the moment it's full screen so if I layer this media on top of the background I'm just going to have this character full on top of it and so what we've made is something called the owl video plane placement and that is going to rescale this to a plane that you put into your scene so if you go to place actors into the off-world live section you'll find this owl video plane placement actor we're going to drag and drop that into the scene and we need to rotate that 180 so it's facing us and this is going to be the plane onto which the media will be mapped so in our case we want to have this lady behind this kind of desk thing so probably that's pretty good for the media so we leave that there and now we need to do two things so the first thing is we want to create an output from this key which we can use for reflections and for back background shadows so this is going to be anti-aliased in Unreal but we're not going to use it as our actual media we're just going to use it for the reflections and shadows so what we do is we go back to key and in the details panel we're going to create an output so we go in the composure section here we go down to output and we're going to create an output pass to render target and we're going to create a new render target here and I've created one called key and what's important is that this render target you need to set the resolution you need so I've set it at 1920 by 1080 if you've got a higher resolution video you should set it to that so now we've got this media going out to this render target and that means that we can create a material from this render target so if we go to our content drawer and we go to our main content we've got this key render target and we just follow the standard unreal process of creating a material and we now need to open up that material and we're going to set the blend mode of that to masked and then we'll set the alpha to opacity mask and apply and what we should see now is we can put the material up here and if we now add this material onto the plane so we go to mesh component key and should be here we go key material we've now got this figure showing up in our scene so and if we position them correctly depending on where our camera is we can see now we've got reflections so they need to be a bit closer than they look like mm, a bit higher okay perfect so we've now got reflections from this plane and we've got shadows behind as well so that's looking great now obviously the problem here is that the media itself looks terrible but that doesn't matter because we're going to layer the clean media plate on top of it however one thing that can happen is that when we layer the clean media plate on top of it this material behind can have edges which stick out so to avoid that what we can do is if we go back to key and we're going to go to the erode material and if we open this up we can take this and we're going to grab this as well actually we're going to take all of this 
from the erode material. And we're going to go to our key material. And so this is the material we're using for that video plane. And we're going to add this in. And so what we need to do is this is our input texture. So we're going to select here the key render target. It's there. And then we're going to send that to here and to here. And then we're going to just drag the output of this erode alpha to the opacity mask. And then whatever we do here to this erode kernel size is going to erode this image. And so I'll just set this in this case to 2. So it's just going to slightly take off the edges of this. And we apply. And we'll see later on when we add the media plate that will have the effect of making sure that this is hidden properly behind the plate.